what is currently happening programs. Today I'm going to cover off how to boost the perceived quality of the graphics you see in the HTC Vive by super sampling in SteamVR. This also applies to any headset using SteamVR to play games, including WMR headsets, the Oculus Rift and Pimax. So if you want to know how to get them graphical gains, then stay locked, enjoy and I hope it helps. So just to set the expectation, I'll be quickly explaining the concept of super sampling, how Steam VR handles this task, and then how you can monitor your PC's performance so you can choose the correct settings based on your specific setup in order to intelligently boost the graphics in your VR headset. If you wanna skip the understanding part and just hack at the settings, then by all means, check the timestamp in the description and have at it. So what is Super sampling. super sampling is a type of anti-aliasing that upscales frames to a higher resolution, then uses an average color value to calculate how to best shrink that image back down to a size that fits your display. The result, edges look smoother, text looks clearer, and the graphics you see in your VR headset look better. And there are two easy ways to super sample in Steam VR both with their pros and cons. The first way is to use SteamVR directly, which has the benefit of super sampling on a per application basis. The other option is the Advanced Settings app by Matsman666. This app is beneficial in that it lets you super sample and monitor performance without having to leave VR, though it is a little more limited in some respects. In all fairness though, there is nothing stopping you from using both in combination. First, let's look at super sampling in Steam VR, as this also carries over to the way advanced settings works. If you take a look in the Steam VR settings menu, you'll see on the application tab there is a slider to set your preferred amount of super sampling. Doubling this percentage means your PC has to push twice as many pixels, and though you will see a noticeable improvement, due to the way the human eye works, it doesn't necessarily mean you will see twice the perceived improvement. It's also worth keeping in mind that 200% is about the point where your PC will start to work a lot harder, but you won't really see a noticeable difference beyond that point. Also of note is that this slider affects only the app selected in this drop down list. For example, I know that Steam VR Home is light on my system, so I could crank this to 150% to get sharper details in Steam VR Home. But I also know that Skyrim VR is a little heavier on my system, and I'm running some mods that will likely impact that further. So I could set this slider to 120%. Now, when I start Steam VR, I will be dropped into Home and the pixel density will be boosted to 150%. But when I start Skyrim VR, the pixel density will be set to 120%, which still looks good, but also gives my PC the headroom it needs to run the game without dropping frames. Now, if you take a look on the video tab and tick this manual override box, you'll notice another slider pop up. The difference here is that this one is the global super sampling setting. So all Steam VR apps and games will be affected by the slider. Steam VR will intelligently estimate a recommended setting for this based on your PC's current specs, which is a cool idea. But if this is set to 160%, then both Steam VR Home and Skyrim VR, for example, will have that 160% super sampling applied, which may be fine for Steam VR Home, but not so much for Skyrim VR. And you'll likely get frame drops and performance issues resulting in jittery gameplay. In addition, if on the video tab you have super sampling applied here as well, then that boost will be applied on top of the boost you have set in the application tab. And it's multiplicative, so things will get out of hand fast. And on top of all of that, if you are super sampling in any other application, Rift owners using the debug tool, I'm looking at you, then you're going to have at least one of 99 problematic VR experiences. So what should you do? First, on the video tab, 
tick the manual override box, take note of the value on this global super sampling slider, and then set it to 100%. Then head on over to the application tab, and from this drop down menu, choose Steam VR Home. Then set the slider to whatever the original value was on the video tab. Now, when you want to super sample a game to boost the graphics, choose that game from this drop down menu and adjust the slider to your preferred amount. And if a game doesn't show up in this list for whatever reason, then you'll have to use the global super sampling slider on the video tab instead. As a side note here, Rift users, I strongly recommend you set the sliders on both of these tabs to 100% and do all your super sampling through either the Oculus Debug tool, which I cover in this video here, or the Oculus Tray tool, which I cover in this video. To boost your graphics in VR, as not all games playable on the Rift use Steam VR, and some that are bypass Steam VR depending on the settings you choose or how the game was developed. And so super sampling in Steam VR may have adverse or no effect for Rift users in those cases. Now let's look at super sampling in the advanced settings app instead. To do that, check the link in the description of this video to download and install that app. Start up Steam VR, put on your headset, hit the button to bring up the dashboard and choose advanced settings from here. Then on the Steam VR tab, you can adjust the application super sampling here. This will affect every Steam VR app or game as it is tied to the global setting on the video tab in the Steam VR settings. And even though that slider may not change there, it is still working. So you'll have to remember what you have set in advanced settings. For both Steam VR and advanced settings, a restart of Steam VR is not required for these super sampling settings to take effect. But it is a good idea to change these values first before starting an app or game in Steam VR. The other key thing that you will need to do that is often overlooked is to monitor your PC's performance while super sampling. Here in advanced settings, you can see how many frames are dropped and how many frames are being reprojected. Essentially, if you see that this number is constantly going up, you're hitting it too hard. You can also get the same information from the Steam VR settings menu on your desktop by going to the video tab and clicking this display frame timing button. What's cool about this is if you want to see this graph in VR, then tick this show in headset box and tip your right hand over. What you are looking for on this graph is red. If you're constantly getting red, then ease off on the super sampling. And finally, now that you know which Steam VR settings do what, how to set them up correctly, and how to monitor your performance while super sampling, don't forget to trust your eyes. If things get glitchy or you notice motion sickness creeping up where it wasn't before, start by easing off on the super sampling settings and go from there. And that's it for this tutorial. You can help support this channel by grabbing exclusive rewards on Patreon. And if you like this video, then crush that like button, have your say in the comments below and hit the EXO logo to subscribe if you wanna. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.